Why do you think this relationship between media, politics, and religion matters, and who cares about it? Stuart. Well, it matters a great deal at the ballot box in the U.S. right now, and it, uh, it, it matters a great deal in political rhetoric and in, in the, uh, the plans and in the strategies of the political parties. But it's complicated, and it's, it's enigmatic, and it's ambiguous, and, it's, uh, and so the, they don't know what they do. So it kind of roils political discourse as you have competing voices trying to figure out the best way to bring religion into things. In a context where religion has been very problematic in the past, it was thought to be a settled issue. It was thought that the United States was on a path towards secularization. And then in the last 30, 20 to 30 years, religion has become much more, uh, much more identified, much more of, an, of, a, of a specific factor in American politics. Yeah, I'm going to say that um, I don't think religion has never not been politicized in America. Um, so I think to say that it's suddenly become politicized is just, it's just wrong if you look at it historically. But I think that it's now being politicized in a different way. So there's different actors taking different positions. I mean, if you were in 1960 and you saw how certain Catholics and Protestants were working together, you would think that you know, that could never happen. Um, but now you find these coalitions of different groups, um, like uh, you know, right-leaning evangelicals and right-leaning Catholics working together, not so much across um, sectarian lines, but more across political lines. So I think uh, it hasn't, it's not that religion suddenly has become politi political, but that it's become political in a new way. Neither the politicians nor media really know how to deal with religion as a factor that is not personalized, privatized, but something that might cause a political change or be used as a vehicle in political change. Well, I think uh, the media and religion go a long way in telling us the stories that are worth talking about. So we've mentioned the, uh, the Rohingya, we've talked about Syria, but stories uh, emerging out of Yemen or Libya that have fallen off the map and yet continue to be areas uh, of of, of U.S. Uh, involvement in the Middle East as well as Europe, or the stories coming out right now, of course, in Saudi Arabia. So the media often frames how we begin to talk and discuss uh, the very existence of religion. I think it's interesting that um, one of the ways that the media really affects things is that it, it creates these narratives, and if the event doesn't fit within the narrative, then you don't really hear about the event. And again, I think you really saw this with the mass shootings that occurred over the last few months, that you know, if that had been a Muslim or someone of color or some different minority group, we would have, it would have fit within this current narrative and we would have just been hearing, but we wouldn't hear it out for days and days and we didn't hear about it at all.